Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and up your all fine. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a heater with conductive paint infrared heater. It's very easy. I'm going to tell you step by step in some videos on YouTube. Uh, when you watch those videos, they use generally uh, commercial professional conductive paint. But in this video, I'm going to also show you how to make your own conductive paint in order to make this um, heater. So let's start. I have here um, a glass. I've just put a little bit of water inside it. Now I am going to um, put ultra fine graphite powder. If you have uh, nano size particles graphite powder, it works very, very well. But uh, in this case, in this video, I have uh, five micron uh, uh, particle size uh, graphite powder. I'm going to use this graphite powder. And also this uh, powder is work very, very well. I'm just going to, uh, Put some graphite powder in deionized water, my friends. Well, I think that's enough. I'm gonna, now I'm going to give a stir. The most critical point is that the graphite powder should be dispersed in the water very, very well. Otherwise, if it's not dispersed very, very well, your conductive paint, the resistance of your conductive paint will be very high. So it's not gonna work very, very well. Now, I need to disperse the graphite into the water very, very well. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to now add my binder. For the binder, I'm going to use CMC. This is carboxymethyl cellulose. It's a very good binder for conductive paint. It can disperse the graphite powder inside it and the internal resistance is very, very low. You can use this um, CMC. I'm going to add 1% uh, CMC solution. You can also add uh, some polyvinyl alcohol or CBR to plasticize the conductive paint. But if you don't have, you uh, not necessarily add those uh, additives, other materials. In this case, for this video, I'm going to just add uh, CMC, 1% uh, solution. CMC, carboxymethyl cellulose. Okay. The ratio of the water and the CMC should be equal. If you use, I mean, uh, 10 milligrams of water, you can add 10 milligrams of CMC. So they should be equal, and you should now give a stir again until it is completely disperse uh, in the solution as you see disperse very very well the viscosity should be not very low should be not very high uh, it should be like let's say honey the viscosity should be like honey my friends If you need, you can also add some uh, more graphite powder, but I think it's enough for this case. I'm not going to add any more. Okay, now with the help of my blender, I am going to mix the solution very, very well in order to uh, evenly disperse the graphite powder in the solution. The stirring process is very, very important. You should stir it about uh, half an hour. Longer you stir, you will get better results, my friends. So for this video, I'm going to just stir it for about um, half an hour. If you have a sonicator at home, you can also sonicate this solution in the sonicator for about half an hour or one hour. All those process uh, makes you to get better solution, better uh, results, my friends.
Okay, my friends, after mixing about half an hour, I got this. This is a very good, very nice um, conductive paint. You can directly use this conductive paint for your project, but in order to getting a better result, I am going to just uh, put it in a vacuum chamber and degas the paint, the uh, gas inside the paint. I will just remove the gas inside the paint. So if you don't have a vacuum chamber, you can use directly this conductive paint. But now I am going to put it into a vacuum chamber and uh, the gas process, gassing process. By the way, if you want to make a homemade vacuum chamber, there's a link over here. There's a video about making a vacuum chamber on my channel. You can watch that video and uh, make your own vacuum chamber, my friends. I'm just putting inside it. Okay, in the vacuum chamber, I'm going to wait about half an hour. And after that, I'm going to again stir the paint about half an hour. After all this process, we will get our very nice conductive paint, my friends. Now I am going to wait for about half an hour. Now, my friends, at this point, I am going to just add some gum arabic. I'm going to put some gum arabic into my conductive paint. If you don't add uh, gum arabic, your conductive paint. Um, couldn't stick to the surface very well so it's very very better it's very good to add some uh, gum arabic not too much a little bit is enough and after put gum arabic again I am going to um, stir my conductive paint for about another half an hour so I'm going to stir about more half an hour Now I have here these pieces of PCB. I am going to just put two pieces of uh, aluminum foil. Place just like this. It's the first one. Just stick it very, very well. Okay, the first one. Now I am going to put another one. Just use this glue. Now I am going to just paint this material with my conductive paint, and after that, I'm going to wait until it completely dry. I got my fine brush. I'm just going to uh, paint with a very thin layer. It should be thin, not very thick. Okay, my friends, I've just painted my material. Now I am going to wait until it dry. After it dry, we are going to test it, my friends. Okay, my friends, our paint are completely dried. Now we are going to test it. I'm going to heat this material. As you see, we have um, such a material here. Now, first of all, let's measure the uh, resistance of our material. I have my multimeter here set to resistance mode. Okay. As you see, my friends, we have a uh, 10.6 ohm. It is about um, 10 ohms. The resistance of our material is about uh, 10 ohms. So it's pretty good, pretty conductive material. You can say it's pretty conductive material. In order to show you the conductivity of our material, I'm going to make another, just another test. You see, I have my uh, power supply here. 
18 volt power supply and I have a bulb here I'm going to just light this bulb with uh, this conductive material but as you see now it's uh, the bulb light up like this now with the material it's also uh, light up like this so our material is pretty conductive now I'm going to first of all let's uh, uh, measure the heatness of uh, our material. Now the heatness of it is about uh, 30 centigrade. Show you in this way. It's about uh, 30, 29 degrees of Celsius right now. Now I am going to heat it and after heating, we are again measure the thickness of our uh, material. And wait. Oh it's, oh, it's getting very hot. Now, when I measure, it's up to uh, 70 degrees of Celsius. Let me show you. Oh, sorry for that. Just cable just out. Oh, now let's be sure. You see it's uh, 90 degrees of Celsius, 92, 95. 100 degrees of Celsius, you see. Now, as you see, it reaches about 140 degrees. You see, 140 degrees. Okay. Ow. Oh, it's pretty hot. In order to uh, not burn it, you have to. Uh, give 12 or 9 volt maybe enough uh, to heat this so with this kind of paint you can heat uh, you can paint larger area larger surface and make a good heater so this is a very nice very good um, heating material now let's again measure the thickness of it right now it's still as you see, it's still uh, about 60 degrees of Celsius, 65 degrees of Celsius. Okay, my friend, before it ends up the video, let's have some fun. You know, I always like have fun with electronics, so let's have some fun. I'm going to just uh, make some short circuit on the conductive paint. You see how it sparks? Because uh, the conductive paint is uh, very, very conductive. It's very conductive. You see wow <laughs> if you want to uh, make fire with this it's very easy wow that's pretty fun to play with that you see oh <laughs> okay okay my friends we get the end of our video i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video please like my video and subscribe my channel oh it's very very hot right now so you can uh use this conductive paint to paint large surfaces and use it as a uh, heater okay take care of yourself my friends see you in the next videos